Hello everyone, I'm Angela and I'm interviewing today Alfredus and Shaquana from the West Park Morning Show. Hello. All right, um, after first starting you know, in the television business, what made you all realize that you wanted you know, to be in the radio? I actually started in radio and then went to TV. Okay. So, so um, you know, it's all broadcasting. Mm -hmm. We both got our degrees in broadcasting. Right. So, And I was in school. So I was actually a manager at a retail store before I got into radio. What school did you go to? Um, I went to the University of D.C. And um, interned mm -hmm. through a project from one, for one of my classes. She interned through the projects. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misunderstood her mm -hmm. through a yeah. project. Yeah, as okay. I was saying. I'm sorry. Um, and, you know, when I interviewed Russ, he was, you know, telling me about a young lady that he saved from teen prostitution mm -hmm. in Dallas. Mm. Turns out it was all for you. It and was me. Yeah. It was me. So yeah. I was, you know, that story is just um, incredible. And she actually. Went from the streets of Dallas. Yeah. To where she is now. It's true. It's true. And actually, you probably heard of University of D.C., but the school she went to mm -hmm. is University of D.C., and the D.C. stands for something else, and we can't say it here. <laughs> okay, oh, wow. so it's a different one. It's a different one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. I first right. went to school, <laughs> but some complicated... Well, you know what? I won't get into it. U-T-A. <laughs> and that means not that always. That means this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How does someone go about having their own radio show? You know, or, be, or being in the radio show? Well, if they have a basement and maybe <laughs> no, actually, um, we interned. We everybody on the show interned, mm -hmm. and that's how we got our jobs. And that's really the best way to get in, mm -hmm. um, especially if you're in school. Mm -hmm. um, You've heard of cases where people have had regular jobs and just kind of knew somebody, mm -hmm. but the best way to do it is when you're in school, in college, um, even when you're in high school to kind of know, you know, what you want to do, what station to focus on and things like that. Maybe go volunteer, be on the street team, put up some flyers, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So it'll be much easier to transition into you know, anyway. We actually have an intern that, well, he works with us now, but when he came to us, he was more like a caveman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we and actually now we found out that he up. was a cub. Yeah, he at was. At the National Zoo. His family, everybody. It's it's really crazy. And now he actually works. He can talk. He has a hard time using his hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, how many and you, you Sometimes he doesn't use a fork when he eats. Uh -huh. In the morning, yeah. but he's, I mean, he, he has come such a flipping yeah. long way. He does. He does. Yes, Abbott Ortiz. Catches his yeah. <laughs> How many internships does he give annually? He, oh, does, he doesn't have a number. He doesn't have a number. Just there whoever, number. and if he sees someone Whoever's that's brave hungry, enough yes, to deal with to this. To deal with us. And, and the whole morning show. Because we're nothing compared to Soup and Russ. Yeah. Okay. Um, growing up, who were y'all, you know, biggest influence? She, of course, me. When she well, was growing up, she was yeah, like, I, said, I want to be like what a I should not do. Wow. Everything that I figured was the wrong <sighs> thing to do was her. But um, growing up, I guess, um, Oprah, um, and that's kind of like about it. Like, I've always seen like Oprah doing that. And as I got older, it was more so Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. I've always loved the fact that she, you know, did radio and transition to movies and TV and things like that. And then Russ. So after I heard Russ um, on the radio, I was like, oh my God, she has so much fun. I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. So I, I liked all my local, like the local news people. I really looked up to them in my city. I'm from Dallas. And so I really, I watched them be like, that's really cool. Oh my gosh, I would do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, within your occupation, what do you enjoy doing the most? I enjoy making people laugh. I think that's like one of the single most things that I actually am thankful for, that I have the ability to, to change people's moods mm -hmm. and, you know, to know that people will come up and say, oh, I was having a bad day until you said this or until he said that. So that really, you know, makes me feel good at the end of the day. Well, I, I really like people, so I like to like hear people's stories and talk to them and 
I really love Well, really, she's just nosy. <laughs> it's a difference between wanting to hear people's stories and being nosy. <laughs> No, so no. she asks no, no. you no, no. personal things I'm nice. that... No, no. And you can probably tell by the interruption who's not. <laughs> no, no. Right? Yeah. You're nosy. I'm telling my story, and she's not even listening to it. <laughs> All right. Okay? I mean, okay. that's what... I have a know. problem with not listening to things that aren't relevant. Oh, see what I mean? And again. Yes, that, that was a nice. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> I am. Do you see that was it? Okay, so what makes the Russ Parr Morning Show unique and different from other radio shows? Us, hello. Yeah. Us. So what do you bring to the table? Us. Hello. So what is unique about you? (laughs) No, you know we are. We are like the people that you see and talk to every day. We're like, you know, it's like if you and her were in, we're being silly and making jokes and whatever you see on TV, you'd be like, oh my gosh, she is not wearing it. You know, we we are just incredibly. We're relatable. And it's like we're not we're a part of the family. We're not scripted. Exactly. We're real. We're not scripted. We're not commercial. We're not Hollywood. It's just what who we are on the radio is who we are off of the radio. Somewhat. Yes. Because you used to have a Mike and Netta and eight Jill Zillion. That was children. like years ago. I haven't done that in years. Are you? Do you want to do something? Are you feeling? Yeah, some I way? was feeling some you type feel of some way. Type of way right now. Did just... I say, oh, you know, you're kind of because you were whoring, you know, when you first came, and <laughs> then is... now you're not. Again, really... who is... you can't really call it whoring unless you're getting paid. And I just got like trips to places. That's not like nobody put cash in my. I'm sorry. Go on. Okay. How do you, how do y'all feel about being in the teen and young adult expo? We love it. It's, it's Actually, I was forced to do it. Well, I mean, we're getting paid um, to do it. I'm so kidding. we love that part of it. <laughs> um, <I'm kidding. laughs> no, it's fun. We love, you know, to get to meet the people that listen to us. And we like to, you know, we love, I mean, we're young, you know. I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I'm young. Um, but I think that, you know, Raleigh is a place where we get so much love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, when we go out. People listen to the show. People know. Except you know, for, uh, except for name? somebody who works here. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, for the most part, we get a lot of love here. So mm-hmm. it's it's like, it's nothing. Yeah, it's like coming home. Here. Oh. It's cool. Well, Robbie loves you back. Oh, thank Aww. you. That's very sweet. Even though you didn't know my name yeah. when we started this interview. I did. Yeah, you did. Wow. That's and, cool. Yeah. And, and so cut. Mm-hmm. <laughs>